I'm with a guy that is very quiet when he talks, but tonight when we talk, he'll be very quiet because he had some work done, uh, some tooth work today, but he's done an outstanding job. B.J., uh, you got took an elbow on a play uh, from Mark Jackson yesterday. Uh, how are you feeling today? Well, I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, it's just a little different for me to talk right now and, and eat. I haven't eaten in a, in a, in a day or so, so uh, but it's coming around. I'm starting to get used to it. You know, I thought you did an outstanding job specifically closing in on uh, uh, the quarter as the quarter ended that first quarter. You made a beautiful shot. You'll take a look at it here. Yeah, well, I got a little isolation, and uh, I was able to play a little one-on-one -on -one and uh, get to the basket to finish that quarter out. You know, they, it seemed like they were able to shoot the three anytime they wanted tonight. Uh, the Bulls would double but didn't get back. The man was wide open. Would you like to have that much time to shoot a three? Well, that'd be great. I mean, uh, the spacing they have on the floor is, is really good. But more importantly, uh, Grant Hill does a great job of finding the guys, uh, you know, Houston and Dumars and Terry Mills is a good three-point shooter, and uh, they give him the space and operate, and he finds them out there on the perimeter. You know, this was neat uh, because we, we were hoping that you would make the game. You keep your consecutive game streak alive. Uh, you looked good out there playing. But Scotty Pippen with the flu, uh, I thought Ronnie Harper filled in capable for him early. You know, I told Ronnie uh, at the end of that second quarter and at halftime, I was really proud of him the way he came out there and performed. Uh, you know, that's being a professional. You know, you don't play for a couple games, and when you come out, and you get the job done. And I thought he did an outstanding job here this afternoon. It was raining threes out here. Are these baskets, you know, this is supposed to be a little bit like the United Center. I said, suggested maybe you should get these backboards and take them back to Chicago with you. It is. Uh, you know, these are nice rooms here. I love to play on these rooms at home, but unfortunately, we have those uh, rooms at the United Center are a little, little tough, but every team that came, that's come in so far has uh, had difficult shooting, and we're not the only one. Any goals the rest of the season, team goals? Do you think you can pass anybody, or are you just going to try to win all the games? I think we're just going to try to win all the games. Uh, you know, we're just kind of uh, moving along right here. Uh, I think Cleveland lost last night, and we really made some ground by winning these back-to-back -back games. And uh, we have an important game on Sunday, and uh, take our chances there. Of course, you had struggled third quarter. You had a couple third quarters. I think it was a Cleveland game. You had nine. You had nine points uh, off of a big lead in Charlotte. Uh, tonight, you got into 30s. Uh, I was a little worried about it. it, it does anything happen when you guys come out of the locker room for the, for the second half? You start thinking. Is anybody thinking about that and having a poor quarter? Well, I don't know. I, I think our energy uh, was kind of low these last couple of games. And uh, we came out uh, in the third quarter and I said, let's get moving. Let's get running. Uh, get ourselves in some transition buckets. Tony got a couple. Uh, Ron, even though he missed those layups, uh, it, it was penetration to the basket, and that was important for us and kind of got us going early, in the, early, especially in the second half. Well, I understand uh, from the, some of the phone calls I got, I mentioned that you got a camp during the summer, and I've got some phone calls on it. You not only have one camp, you have two camps. Yeah, I do. I have a couple camps that I run every summer, and uh, it's really exciting for me uh, as well as the kids. Uh, it's been a couple weeks, one in uh, Elmhurst College here in uh, Illinois, and one back in Iowa that I run, and it's been a lot of fun for me. Uh, is there any way you can get a hold of it? Uh, kids want to go to camp, they call you or call the Bulls office? Yeah, sure. You can call the Bulls office for more information. I would love to. Uh, it's, it's for kids 5th through 12th grade. Uh, I'll be there, and uh, hopefully we'll get some of the guys here to come and, and see and speak. And uh, it's a great time, and uh, we have a lot of fun during the summer. <laughs> a guy that struggled with his three-point field goal when we first started to televise the games. I think you were one for 11 starting out. This is our last game on GN, and uh, you have certainly done an outstanding job. Congratulations. Good luck in the playoffs, BJ. Thank you, Red. Appreciate it. All right, let's go back to Wayne.